what's up welcome back to my channel so today's video is another review this one is going to be about the desi x katie collab and i couldn't be more excited about this you guys i ordered these goodies for about two months ago now and i've been waiting for it and waiting and waiting and i couldn't wait anymore <laughs> any longer so this is it this is what we are going to review today and without any further ado let's jump right into the video okay guys so let's just jump right into it and the product we're gonna review today is something a little late because it launched already like about two months ago or so but i mean if you wait for something good you can never wait enough right so this is the friendcation palette and the fuego highlighter this is the desi x katie collab by dose of colors and i mean first of all the packaging on these are just incredible so let's start with the highlighter as i mentioned the name of it is fuego and i'm already sure you've heard of it like all over instagram i mean look at this this is so beautiful you guys this is like every girl's dream so here is the back of it on the back of it it says the name of it and it also shows that it's vegan and cruelty free um which for me is important and also for like a lot of uh people using makeup so that is really appreciated and then we have it oh let me remove the plastic there we go. I already swatched it, you can tell on the bottom of it, but I mean, look at this. It looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna just take, okay, as you see, I have nothing on my finger, nothing on my arm. So I am digging in there just like that, just once, okay? And already see the payup of it. Can you see? Crazy. So let's do a swatch, shall we? I'm gonna do it right here. I mean, I should be more tan for this, but can you see? It is so beautiful. Okay, so really excited about this one. Let me just clean my finger. So let's keep on going with the Frankation palette. So look at this. Ta -da! so beautiful you guys i mean this packaging is just everything okay so on the back of the palette you can see all the names of it this palette consists of both mattes and shimmers or they kind of like they they have like a really creamy consistency so i almost want to call them foils but here it is look at this it's so gorgeous i mean this blue color it has like it is shifting colors into purple i don't know if the camera picks that up or if it just looks blue on it i mean oh okay guys so i went in ahead and swatched all the shades for you guys and i mean look at this this is all just one swipe okay especially the shimmer ones i mean look at this red and the green those are my two absolute favorites and now let's just really quickly take our phone and add even more light to it can you see wow i mean this is so gorgeous Okay, you guys, so I'm like, the pigment in that palette is just super real. Okay, so let's start and do the eye look with this. So first of all, I'm going to go into this shade called Basic and apply this all over my lid. So with this shade, I am just setting uh, the concealer to have a good, nice base. Okay, and... Ooh. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with this shade called Necessary. 
that is because we all just need that shade in our transition so i'm totally on board for that and yes it looks really good and what i also like about this palette is that i've seen it on so many different uh, skin tones and it looks really good on each and every one of them so as you saw here on my swatch here up here is actually basic and you barely see it on me because i'm that pale but if you're like a little bit more tan or have a darker skin, skin color this that shade will actually pop even more so that is just you know a plus maybe i should sit like this so you guys actually can see what i'm doing on my eyes as you see this shade necessary just gave a little bit more depth into my eye and it looks a little bit more you know awake and a little bit better okay let's do today i'm gonna do just a natural look because we're just reviewing the, sh the palette and um swatching the shades and all of that so uh on sunday i will actually do a more like extreme dramatic look with it so i think i'm gonna go in with this combo i'm gonna go in with churo which is this one and then with just a kiss which is this one okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pick up two brushes like this this is a more tapered blending brush and this is just a smaller blending brush and first of all i'm gonna go in with the smaller one into that shade churo and I'm gonna add this like specifically into my crease. Like that, and then I'm gonna go back in with the tapered one. I'm just gonna make sure it's nothing on it, okay? And just go over that and blend this in. I like always using like two brushes, so one to apply the product and then the next one to blend it out. Okay, so it blended really nice. At, at first on this, I, ha I had a little bit of a struggle. I didn't know what it was yet. I didn't want to say anything, but on this one, it just went on flawlessly. So it's probably the base or the fact that I did set it like an even or so. So we're all good. Actually, I'm also gonna go in with the same big, uh, smaller brush, and with whatever with whatever's left, blend out my lower lash line as well. So now I'm actually going to go in with my finger into the shape Just Kiss, as I mentioned. It just feels like it's that kind of shadow that will apply best with a finger. So let's see. Yes okay that you guys look really good it looks so pretty so i feel like it made my eyes really pop what do you guys think okay so this looks so pretty and it was a little bit more glittery than I expected once I started to work with it, but that is just totally fine. I'm gonna go in with my small uh, E36 pencil brush by Morphe, and I'm gonna go into the inner corner with this one. So I don't get it like all over with my chubby fingers. And I will go back to the small blending brush and just go over the crease again to show kind of the shimmer where it should um, stop. Wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, guys, so I will just um, add a brown liner and I don't have a brown liner, so I will actually make my own. If you want to see how you make your own eyeliner, I will link that video below. I did that last week. And yeah, while I'm at it, I'm going to do the rest of my face and makeup. And I will be right back. 
Okay guys, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup and before I show you guys the end result, I want to also dig into this highlighter. So once again, this is Fuego and for the first time using it, I'm picking it up with my regular highlighter brush just like that and Okay. This was a blinding highlight. You see, it looks so beautiful and it is, I mean, it is blinding without having those uh, small, small shimmery glitters in it. You know, I don't like that. I think it just look, it just looks like I just put like glitter onto my face. That is not the effect I want. But this, Honestly, it looks so much better. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I am really happy with this look. It's just a really like pretty daytime look. Nothing special. I really loved, I'm blown away with the shimmers in the palette. I also like the mattes. They were kind of easy to work with. And as you see, I think they did a pretty good job. Looks a little chunky in this eye. I don't know why actually, but I mean, this eye was no problem. So um, hang tight and stay tuned for the video on Sunday. That will be like some kind of bomb look. I'm not sure yet what, but we will definitely do something like maybe with the blue or this um, shade game over or I mean the olive one. And try me, I'm, I mean, okay. Seems like I will do a whole bunch of videos with this palette. I hope you guys are excited because I am. I waited so long for this palette. And I mean, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, that was all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will uh, see you guys on Sunday. Bye.